This week I have decided to do something that I've been thinking about doing for a while and I hope that I'm not being too ambitious. I know my last video I thought I was being ambitious by doing a Game of Thrones dress in a day and that was difficult because I had a hard time focusing. But this week, it's a series that I'm planning on doing this uh, fall, I guess, um, Halloween season. I have decided that I am going to do a few uh, group costumes. This week, my group costume is going to be Twilight. <laughs> the people I will be making the costumes for are Alice, Bella, and Rosalie. And I, I will be doing hair where I feel it's something that I can actually do. I'm doing a look for Alice from Twilight. I'm doing a look for or Bella from New Moon. And I'm actually doing two looks from Rosalie from Eclipse. Um, and those are really the only ones that I was interested in. And... It did help that I already had most of the stuff for some of them. Um, the first one, you probably will not be surprised if you've seen some of my other videos. I am doing Alice from Twilight. Like I said, um, Alice from Twilight is actually one of the costumes that I have a whole video on right now. And um, I have changed a couple of things. Remember how um, when I initially posted the Alice Cohen video, I said that I had a blouse that had a neckline that I thought would be perfect for this. It was, it was kind of roughly, and I thought it would be perfect for the outfit. And then I couldn't find it. Well, it's been a while since that video, and I have looked. I have looked all over the place. I cannot find that blouse anywhere. I did get a new one. So this blouse is, is pretty close to being how I want it to be. I just have to fix a couple of things. Um, I'm going to show you how it looks on me, and then we're going to talk about the fixes. So, like I said, I, I, like, I like just about everything about this. The sleeves are still way too short, and it has elastic. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut it uh, just above the elbow there, and then we are going to take the extra bit, the, the forearm part, and we are going to turn it into ruffles and add ruffles to the, sorry, to the half sleeve right there at the elbow. You should be laying more flat. I am working on the cameo necklace. This was basically as close as I could get, which is, I believe this is a board game piece from something Twilight related. It was one of the few things that came up when I looked on eBay. I think I got it for like $3, but then shipping was like $4 or something. So this works fantastic, except there is a stand on the back so that it actually stands up like a game piece um, so I have to figure out a way to take this off I had a couple of thoughts what I'm going to try right now is to use this new uh, rotary tool that I got safety first I'm getting ready I'm getting ready to dye these bands so that I can finish this necklace. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, Hyacinth Rit Dye and um, I am hoping it'll be dark enough. This is one piece of the ribbon, um, very 
very blue. Um, obviously there's not really much I can do about it right now, but we'll see if it looks any better when it dries. I'll keep my fingers crossed. I am not happy at all. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of annoyed at how blue it is. Now I'm just trying to decide if I want to cut new lengths. I've looked at a couple more pictures and I've done a little bit more research and I'm starting to think that the color that I'm thinking the choker is in the movie is not the color it actually is. It's just the color wash, the, the grading that is applied over top. Um, because I looked at a couple of uh, stills and video clips from New Moon where they are inside the house and everything is a lot warmer color-wise. Um, and the necklace is a lot lighter and it's a lot closer to the original color of the ribbon that I got. So that being said, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking off the, the backing and I'm, I'm just going to redo it and hope I'm satisfied with the way that it looks. <laughs> There were, you know, things that I obviously try to improve in between the the first video that you see and when I end up doing it again. I, I always try to make it better. Next, I did the first outfit that you see Bella wearing in New Moon. Bella's, I didn't really have much to do for hers. I, um... I made the blouse, but it was the same blouse pattern that I used for uh, several things that I've done before, so I didn't think that would be terribly interesting to watch. I made the sleeves a lot shorter than normal, which is like the only thing that I've changed about it. And I actually dyed the fabric. What I ordered was a dark green. What came in the mail was teal, or I guess peacock. I thought I was a fool for no one uh, Ooh, baby, I'm a fool for you Yeah, the queen of the superficial Hell, long before you tell the truth is when they're doing their little training scene, their training montage, which I always thought was kind of weird that they only had one training session and they were like, we're good, we got this. So I already had the cami, which was great, um, but I had to make basically everything else. 
and that was fun. I had the necklace already and I just needed to make the pants and the zip up hoodie. Um, but here's the process for that, I guess. This is the shell of the zip up hoodie that I'm working on. Um, the pins are the sleeves. It's a very interesting pattern that I haven't used before. So I'm doing two layers because it's a hoodie. I want it to be lightweight, but not too lightweight. This material is a little bit too lightweight on its own. So I'm doing two layers and we will see how it goes, I guess. I have already um, pinned the cuffing for both of the sleeves on. I use the zigzag stitch to allow um, stretchy fabrics to remain stretchy. Still have to pin the bottom cuffing on. Most of the footage of me putting together this hoodie is so dark it is unusable, so I apologize. I'm working on the little um, string that goes through the hood, and this is a very dark navy colored a ribbon. All right, here we are. It's all pinned. I am going to go ahead and sew all of this, and then I'm going to uh, burn the edges so they don't unravel. Okay, so here I have both of the um, parts. One of these is going to be the outer part. One of them is going to be the inner lining part. These pins are all holding in place the different sides of the zipper. Start by creating a side part. Then grab a chunk of hair from one side of your head and start twisting it, slowly adding bits of hair until you reach the back of your head, at which point you will go ahead and bobby pin it in place pushing it forward as you do so. Repeat this on the other side. Once you've made sure both sides are even, take your remaining hair and divide it into three. Then start braiding it down your back, bringing it over one shoulder to finish. Final touches include making sure everything is properly in place and bobby pinned correctly, and pulling out small bits of hair to frame the face. second one that I did for Rosalie was later on in Eclipse. It was the the actual fight. But yeah, she's, she's wearing a very sort of basic outfit. Um, I had all of these pieces beforehand and I was like, oh, well I'll just do another one. A pair of black pants, uh, a pair of black boots a black tank top. I don't know what she's actually wearing underneath that jacket, but I went with a black tank top. And then a blue jacket, a navy blue jacket. I think it's a cute outfit. The second hairstyle builds on the first, where you just take the part that you braided and go to the base of your neck and twirl it around into a bun and bobby pin till secure. When they see me again
overall, even if parts of it were demon spawn. The uh, cargo pants, I will definitely be getting some wear out of because I, it, it took me so long to get those finished. If I don't wear them until they are threadbare, I am going to be so mad at myself. <laughs> the zip-up hoodie will probably be getting more wear as we get into the later months of the year. As I said at the beginning of this, I do intend to, to go through to the end of October with this series. I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!